What's up, everybody? Once again, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles X. In the last episode, we completed up Chapter 6, and in this episode, well, it's finally time for us to get ourselves a scale, but first, we need to get our scale license, and we can do that by talking to Commander Vandom, and thankfully, it just so happens that he's right here in our very barracks. So what's going on, Vandom? There. Hey there, are you settling in all right? Getting used to life as a blade. Uh, sure, why not? We'll confirm. Excellent, glad to hear it. I know you've been through the damn ringer lately, but you're still doing good work. Anything to ask me about? Any worries or requests? No need to hold back. I'm in a good mood today, so your head will probably stay on your shoulders. It's only natural for a commander to want to keep tabs on his people, right? So come on, lay it on me. Alright then, so we can talk about paying he'll double our rewards for the next mission, but we could also talk about skills, and that's way cooler if you ask me. Oh yeah? That's right, I forgot you didn't have one. Wait, you don't even have a skill license, do you? Whoops, sorry about that. Oversight on my part. You need a license to pilot a skill, see? We only issue them to blades with a proven track record. That way we know they have the skill to make use of them. Given your track record, I'm tempted to issue one right now, but it ain't standard operating procedure. Wouldn't it be fair to the others, you know? But clear the license exam, and it's all yours. Alright, so there we have it, the Skell License. I'm really, really excited. So along with this first normal mission, we have like eight proficiency exams. One for each of like the different blade divisions, which is kind of crazy, but um... Yeah, we're gonna have to go through like all eight of these, finish them all up, then we can complete the main license examination, and after we complete that, uh, we'll finally be able to get ourselves a Skell, so... One more mission to accept, and now we are good to go. Once you get your eight certifications done, go tell Walter in the hangar. Then, once you pass the final exam, you'll officially be a scale pilot. Pretty exciting, yeah? Ha! <laughs> sure it is. But getting you in a scale will be good news for all us Blades, too. I've got high hopes for you. Good luck. Alright, thank you so much, Venom, and hey, check it out! We already completed proficiency exam number 8, and that one was just, uh, do some of those missions, I guess. Cool! And wow, okay, well, proficiency exam 5 is also completed! And that was just, like, collecting a bunch of stuff, I guess, so... Neat! <laughs> and oh my gosh, proficiency exam number 1 is already done, too! And, uh, that was just planning a data probe. Well, we're doing good thus far. Three missions, and we didn't even do a single thing. That is pretty amazing. Alright, so let's go see uh, what's next. Might as well do them in order, so we'll do number two. And, um, what is actually the requirements? Defeat 12 random uh, indigens in Noctulum. So I suppose I can do that pretty easily. Uh, let me just use the gamepad real quick to try and teleport close enough to where those indigens actually are. I'll show you guys where they are, and then uh, I'll probably just defeat all 12 of them. I'll have to reload the area a couple of times, so I'll probably just like show you where they are, defeat some of them, and then uh, defeat like the remaining ones off screen. That way, you know, I'm not spending the entire episode just defeating small, low-level indigens because I'm sure no one really wants to see that over and over and over again. And really, I do not care that I ran into that random enemy. It does not matter whatsoever. We're just going to run away from it. Also, I brought Gwen along with me because I haven't used him in a really long time and I figured he could use like a few levels or two even though he might not level up too much in this video because really we're not going to be fighting too many like enemies that give off a lot of XP. Like maybe one or two of them will give off a decent amount so he probably won't level up too much but I figured it was worth having him along. Anyways, here's one of the 12 enemies that we need to take out. Yeah, they're really not like high level enemies at all. In fact, they're pretty low level and pretty easy to take out. We just need to kill 12 of them for some reason. Not really sure how this qualifies us to pilot a giant robot, but hey, you know what? 
who am I to ask questions like this? So this is by far the easiest place you can find them here in Noctilum. Uh, there are like two areas on the map. It'll show you, you know, if you play the game, it'll have like two uh, blue dots of different areas in Noctilum where you can find these guys. In my opinion, this is the easier of the two because they will always appear in this cave no matter what time it is. I believe um, the other area where they can appear in Noctilum, it's outside somewhere like normally. And I think these bugs will only appear in that area at night time. So uh, if you just go to this cave, they'll automatically be there. You can find around uh, five of them, I believe, at a time. And here are like the other two. So yeah, five of them total in this cave. And you can pretty much just teleport to the uh, FN probe site that I was at like prior. Run your way into this cave, kill all five of them, and then just teleport back there and rinse and repeat the process. So it's quite simple to kill these guys. Only takes like a couple of minutes. And um, after you kill all 12, you can just simply move on to your next scale license exam. So that being said, since this is the fifth one, I'm just going to kill this, reload the area until I get all 12, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Uh, all right then. Oh, you know what? I was on my way back to the cave, and uh, my frontier nap ticked over, and because I have it over like 15k, I completed proficiency exam number six. So there we go, not bad. I'm gonna go back into this cave though, and uh, work on taking out those enemies. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so this is the final one, and bam, there we go. Proficiency exam number two has been completed. Sweet. All right, so now that we're done with that, uh, I guess we can move on to proficiency exam number three. And uh, wow, we only have three things left already. That's pretty crazy. Let's see. So this one is to defeat some really big indigen in uh, some area back in Primordia. All right, so we can do that. But the appearance of this indigen is pretty rare, as it says in the description. So I believe this is actually a tyrant enemy. Um, if I remember correctly, since it is rare, uh, ideally what you're going to want to do is enter this area. And because this is the first time we've discovered it, uh, now it created a fast travel location for this specific area. So um, that's actually going to make this a lot easier. Since the appearance of this indigen is pretty rare, what we can do now is uh, go close to where it spawns and see if it's there first. Because obviously, if it's already there, we don't want to risk like fast traveling away and um, you know missing out on getting like an easy kill on this thing. But the thing is, I don't think it's actually here. Like you would have been able to see it because not only does it have the giant green exclamation mark above its name, it also has one of the purple clouds signifying that, you know, it is a special enemy. So, yeah, let's quickly just uh, hit the fast travel icon. That way we can teleport back into here, which reloads the area. And uh, we'll do this a couple of times and see if he actually spawns in. Um, usually this doesn't take too long. Wow, we actually got super lucky. Holy crap. Second try, like... That could not have gone any better unless, like, he was there the first try, obviously. But, uh, what I was going to say is, um, normally this doesn't take, like, over 10 teleports, I would say, because when I was practicing for, like, all of these missions, I believe I had to teleport to this area, like, seven times in order to get him to show up. So, really, not even that bad. Like, it took maybe five minutes total for me to do all those teleports and get this guy to show up. So, even though it is like a rare occasion when he shows up, you should get him to show up within a reasonable amount of time. Like it shouldn't take you too long to get this guy to spawn in and take him out because he really is only level 25. Like he might seem kind of big, maybe a little dangerous, but trust me, he's really not all that bad. Um, I'm not even like doing that good of a job with all my combos either and I kind of wasted my overdrive. Now, how did he get all the way over there? What in the world happened? <laughs> that is so random. I've never seen that happen before. But, um, yeah, so even though I'm not even, like, doing everything optimally, this guy is already almost done. So, like, maybe one more attack, and he should be out of here. There we go. Proficiency exam three has been completed. Sweet. So now that that is done... Uh, let's go see what's next on the docket. Number four. Alright, so what are we doing this time? Alright, so we just need to go find a map back in Noctilum. This is actually one of the easiest exams 
in this like entire mission subset not even joking so uh, let me just use the gamepad to travel close to where we need to go now that we're here all we have to do is uh, walk right over to this cliffside and jump all the way down yeah that's literally all there is to it like I'm not even joking this one is as simple as simple can be so uh, there is this field action thing like directly in front of us and as soon as we open this up we will complete the mission and it's mechanical level one so like no matter what you'll be able to complete this like you don't even have to like level up this skill at all just to do this so yeah pretty simple that being said only proficiency exam seven and the main exam remains so for this one we got to go back to division drive talk to some guy and get like an experimental weapon and uh, give him some weapon test data by like hunting some indigens. So let's travel back to New LA. That way we can get this done ASAP. So let's see. I believe this guy is over here. His like green question or exclamation mark popped up like for a second. So yeah, let's head over here, talk to him, and get that experimental weapon. Mm -hmm. Greetings. You must be the one undergoing the scale license examination. I work with the outfitters in product testing. I have three weapons for you today. You will use one of them to hunt indigens. Remote weapon usage monitoring is a crucial source of data for arms manufacturers. Your cooperation in this process is most appreciated. Trust me, dude, I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for me so I can get myself this scale. Anyway, so he gave us three trial weapons. The trial sword, the trial assault rifle, and the trial knife, I believe. So we need to go and equip at least one of those, and I believe, yeah, my character can use the trial assault rifle. It's not a very good weapon, but um, I rarely use my assault rifle anyway, so I'll just equip it, and uh, that'll be that. Like, it doesn't really matter if we use it or not while hunting these indigens. We just need to have it equipped on at least one of our characters that's currently in our party. So now that that is out of the way, uh, let's fast travel close to where these indigens actually are, and then we can hunt them. So basically... We need to take out uh, three of these giant Grex enemies, which are pretty close to this fast travel location. Um, shouldn't take us too long to get that. They're actually in a couple of different places here in Primordia, but again, this is like the fastest one that I can get to right now. I believe the other ones are close to another like probe site. Problem is, I haven't actually planted that probe yet, so I'm not really sure um if it would be like faster to find that probe site and then teleport there to find the grexes but whatever so this is what i have access to right now i'll very quickly just like show you where they are in relation to where we fast travel to because we will have to like reload this area since i believe there's only two grexes in this area and obviously we need to kill a total of three so kind of annoying but not really that big of a deal Alright, so since we got that field action, let's just head up here, and wouldn't you look at that, there's the two Grexes that we need to fight. So, let's begin taking them out, and do what we do best. Which I guess is just like, you know, the slow extinction of uh, the native inhabitants of Mira, because that's really all we've been doing, it's like, just been killing random indigens left and right, but I mean, hey, if we didn't kill them, someone else would, so... Yeah, it's a job that needs to be done, and I'm gonna do it. Anyways, um, I do need to reload the area, so I'm gonna do that, and I'll see you guys once I kill the last Grex that we need. Alright, so there we go. Mission 7, or Proficiency Exam 7, has been completed, and I believe that was the last thing that we needed to do, considering number 8 was completed like the second we picked it up. So, let me just deal with this jerk who still wants to fight us for no good reason. And after he's gone, uh, we'll travel back to New LA, complete the final examination, and finally get ourselves a skull. Oh man, I'm so excited, man. A giant robot, like one of the reasons that I wanted to play this game to begin with. And I'm finally about to get one, even though it's been like months after this game has come out and people have like already beaten it. And um, they got their skills like the day the game came out. But whatever, I'm finally getting one now. So let's head over to the hangar back in New LA and uh, find this character that we need to talk to. There you are. Hello, Walter. I'm ready for my final exam. Commander Random told me you'd be stopping by to take the scale license exam. 
Do you have your certifications from the proficiency exams? I sure do. There you go, buddy. Yep, looks like a full set. Nice work. We're ready for the final exam. No need to stress, though. It's a simple verbal quiz. We had you run missions for each of the eight divisions, and there's a reason for that. Care to guess what it might be? Okay, so we can deduce and say it's to better understand how each role plays within Blade, or we can joke and say Vandom was like hazing us or something. Let's deduce because I believe that's the correct answer. Excellent, now you've got a feel for each one's particular flavor. Hopefully that's given you a few ideas of how you can put a scale to use. Anyway, that's one reason, but there's another. There aren't exactly enough scales to go around all the divisions. Sometimes situations arise where people have to cross division lines and to cooperate to get things done. For efficiency's sake, it's important that everyone knows how the other divisions work. Make sense? Uh, sure does, my man. Good. Then you are now clear to own and operate a scale. Hooray! I'll authorize your license now. I always get to share some good news. Looks like you're being given a free scout, compliments of Vandom. Heck yeah! It's parked in the hangar in the back. Go introduce yourself and give it a test ride. Oh, you know I will. Alright, so I guess we can either thank him for his help, or we can provoke him and ask that like everyone in our party gets a free scout, but that doesn't work, so let's just be thankful. Just doing my job, really. Vandom is the one you should be thanking. He must expect big things from you. It's a rare day a rookie pilot gets issued a scale free of charge. I look forward to seeing what you do with it. Alright. This is our moment, guys. Let's go get in our scale. And there we go, the Scale License mission has been completed. And yeah, Doug's just gonna tell us that we can register our Scale. I'll deal with all that later on. For now though, holy crap guys, we are finally in a Scale. It's a freaking Gundam, man, and this thing is awesome. Well, I mean, not this particular Scale. In fact, this Scale is kinda crappy, but you know what? Not even a big deal because I'm still having a whole lot of fun with it, and yes, you can tap like the run button to transform into your car form, although it does make like turning and getting around a little bit harder to control, but obviously it is a lot faster than just walking. Still though, this is absolutely amazing. I'm so glad we finally have a scale. Oh my gosh. So walking around is like fun and all, but um, I'm sure you guys are curious as to what like scale combat is like, so I'll be nice and uh, I'll quickly show that off because I know a lot of you guys probably like saw the trailers for this game and were like, oh my gosh, fighting in the scale looks amazing, can't wait to see it, and uh, I'll be the first to show it off to you. Well, probably not the first because like I said, this game's been out for a long time, but this will be the first time I'll show it off in this particular LP. So. Let's just go and fight this guy because he's really not going to be that much of a threat. Now, yeah, scale combat when you first get your scale, really not all that interesting because we don't have any arts. See, arts on scales are pretty much equated to what weapons you have equipped. And right now, we only have like our basic attacks available to us. So, yeah, we need to go and buy some fancy scale weapons. That way we can use all like the cool scale arts and stuff like that. But uh, for now, that's sort of what our scale can do. I'll probably like go through, buy some upgrades, and uh, make our scale a little bit nicer in the next episode, maybe. Although, I might just wait until like uh, we can buy the level 30 scales, considering I'm already like level 28. Not sure yet. 
Anyways, I'll figure that out in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.